like this dinner outside is just incredible. Breezy south wind 75 degrees into 7 p.m. 64 degrees by 10 p.m. and more clouds and humidity too by 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning. So let's fast forward to Thursday. The Storm Prediction Center and the National Weather Service, everyone in agreement with this refined time frame at this hour, 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. I've only seen small adjustments with the time frame. It's still pretty uniform with late afternoon on Thursday and into early Friday morning. Now, what we're looking at right now is an enhanced risk for strong storms. That means that tornadoes are a lot more likely in Meridian, Mississippi, but they will start to get closer to areas like the University of West Alabama in Livingston, Greene County, and then it will move from west to east. So we're all shaded in yellow, and by definition, that means scattered severe storms, heavy rain, potential for one or two tornadoes and damaging winds, even hail a possibility because there is a cold side and our temperatures in the 80s now, we're going to go back to those 60s for the highs behind this weather system. Our WVTM 13 Live Doppler, the only live radar on television. We have full control over it. We positioned it there in advance strategically for these spring storms so we can get a first-hand look and really pull them apart to see if they're going to behave as they are as strong in Mississippi. So once we get into about 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, you'll certainly start to notice an uptick in the amount of thunderstorms that develop. Now, this is basically showing this line but there could be isolated thunderstorms out ahead of the main line. So that's why our severe weather threat starts a little bit earlier than when they actually look to arrive on the forecast model through I-65 and 5920 by 8, 9 o'clock p.m. That's dinner time, folks, so make sure you have those alerts set on your phone. 11 p.m. into 1 o'clock in the morning, it gets closer to Lake Wadawi, Logan Martin Lake, and um, Lake Martin, pushing towards I-85 and the Auburn campus, Troy University, closer to Fort Benning as well. As the sunrise approaches, it will be more of an issue for the Peach State. So again, our time frame is 4 p.m. Thursday to 4 a.m. Severe weather possible. So we have labeled Thursday as a severe weather day. That's why it's shaded there in red. This could be imminent and life threatening at times as we track those storms moving into the state, but it will certainly feel a lot colder on Friday and then we will see better weather conditions. Sunrise forecast Easter Sunday morning 610 and sunshine.